Understanding Self-Determination in a Post-War Europe was the title given to a series of talks delivered by a panel of academics, jurists and politicians. They were designed to explore a concept central to Gibraltar's international relations. Against a backdrop of tension arising from Spain not recognizing British Gibraltar territorial waters, there have been those who have called for Britain to take the matter to the International Court of Justice and let them decide who the waters belong to. But Professor Weller argues such a move could be risky. Well, it's not specifically focused on Gibraltar, but it is a general maxim, as it were, of the legal trade. Before you go to the court, you may think that you have a good case, that you should win, but you can't be entirely sure. And probably the other side will think the same. Yeah, I think we've probably got a 60% chance to win. But depending on what the court says, it may be that after it has ruled, you've got nothing and the other one has got everything, or vice versa. So for both sides, going to a court is risky. On the other hand, it has the advantage that it will bring clarity. So if there are issues where both governments are more interested in concluding a problem, concluding an issue, and instead move forward in a situation where the law has been clarified, it's probably a good idea to go to the court. But where the sides feel that it's a very important national issue and they cannot really afford to have a decision that takes everything, <laughs> as it were, which may or may not happen, uh, then politicians tend to, be more, tend to be more cautious. Our territorial integrity in Gibraltar, as a ceded colony, is our best guarantee of self-determination. Gibraltarian lawyer and academic Dr. Jamie Trinidad used to be a pupil of Professor Weller's. Now Dr. Trinidad is a fellow and tutor at Cambridge University. He recently accompanied the Chief Minister to the United Nations in New York and claims when the Spanish government argues in favour of territorial integrity, they actually mean territorial revisionism. When Spain argues for territorial integrity, what it's actually arguing for is for a redrawing of the boundaries of post-World War II Europe. And that's something that makes other states extremely nervous. So I think we should be reassured by that. And I don't think that Spain is going to get her way in the UN anytime soon. But we have to keep working. We have to keep going there and making the case for Gibraltar. Spain always bangs the drum about territorial integrity. And commonly you see the response in Gibraltar that self-determination trumps territorial integrity. In fact, it doesn't. Self-determination and territorial integrity work hand in hand. And what we shouldn't be ashamed to do in Gibraltar is to say that our territorial integrity defines us as a people. We are a territorially defined people according to the boundaries that were ceded under the Treaty of Utrecht. And as a result of that status, we have the right to self-determination. So it's not really a case of self-determination trumping territorial integrity at all. It's a case of both those principles working together. That gives us our right to self-determination as a people. By virtue of that right, they freely determine their political status and freely... Former Chief Minister Joe Bosano was upbeat in his address. He told the symposium East Timor's long and traumatic road to independence is a reminder that Gibraltar needs to persist at the United Nations and believe it will eventually be successfully decolonized.